People are eating more and moving less right now, so cleaning up some of your comfort foods to make them more plant-based is the way to go. No meat diets seem to be a new trend, but they're hardly a fad. This is something that's been going on in my house for years. I'm actually married to a vegan. Now, there's a lot of terminology flying around in this space, so let's start by defining three common plant-based diets that are often talked about. First, plant-based. Doesn't eliminate all animal products, but it does focus heavily on eating mostly plants. Then there's vegetarianism. You're abstaining from eating meat, fish, and poultry, but you will eat some animal products like dairy. Then there's veganism, or being a vegan. Eliminates all animal products, including honey, because it comes from bees. Well, my next guest, Anya, decided to adopt a vegan lifestyle and cut back on her favorite Dominican comfort foods, even though her family thought she was giving up her culture. So, Anya, when you decided to follow a vegan diet, it was completely against the grain of everything your family believed when it came to eating. What made you decide to make this major change? My acne was really bad, and I was just sick of trying everything, and nothing worked. So I kind of went down the wormhole of, of documentaries and decided just to try this this natural solution, starting internally. So tell me, what was really hard at first when you were doing this? What really struck you as difficult? I really didn't think it would be so hard in the very beginning, but the most difficult thing I would say was being prepared at home. So like having the right foods in my, um, in my pantry and just really preparing things at home that will allow me to really kind of not cheat in, in, uh, in the diet that I was adapting. So, and, and, and going out to eat, it was really difficult at first, especially in my neighborhood, like finding the right food and uh, just being able to find the things that would give me the right nutrients on this diet. Well, you know, I got to believe that, you know, you're doing this um, and you're trying to do this veganism. You don't have a lot of help, right? I mean, you don't have a lot of people at home who are vegan. So, you know, how did that work out? It was definitely a challenge at home. I come from a really big family. So at first I was rather alienated from, from everyone. And I just really had to do the research myself, see what, what kinds of foods would give me the right proteins and, you know, how to sustain myself. And it was, it was very alienating at first because it was just me. Uh, and, and yeah, it was really difficult just to do it alone at first. 